Hi, I'm Juan and I am an AI trainer for Growth Tribe. And I'm David and I'm also an AI trainer for Growth Tribe. This is a new type of video based on the questions that are most frequently asked on Google. We borrowed this format from Wired and we thought it would be pretty cool to do one about machine learning. All right, first question. What is machine learning? Uh, think about this. When you have a kid and you want to teach this kid to do something or to recognize a certain pattern or, for example, an animal, you can show a picture of a horse and every time you show him a horse, you can say, this is a horse. Over time, this kid will be able to recognize horses. It's the same with computers. You teach a computer with an algorithm how to recognize certain patterns to say if something is this or that, or if, for example, someone will churn in your business or won't churn in your business. It's a form of mathematical training that then will give you better predictions over time. All right, second question. How will machine learning change the world? How will machine learning change the world? Oh my God, it's coming for us. It's already changed the world. Um, sorry to spoil it for you. It's helping us already to predict credit scores, to uh, predict diseases, uh, to recommend those items to buy. And the thing is that it's only gonna get better from here. The real question is if it's gonna become so clever that it can do the same task as humans do, but also much faster. All right, that's machine learning involve coding at first yeah but now not necessarily uh, shameless plug our course teaches you how to do machine learning without having to code anything we use platforms like data iq or orange which is an open source program that let you select the algorithms that you want to use just plug in a database and make very complex models that will help your business grow the next one how does machine learning work there are two main fields in machine learning at the moment. Uh, they are supervised learning and unsupervised learning. For the supervised learning, let me give you an example. Let's say that you're trying to predict the survival of the Titanic. A bit late, I know, but let's imagine that. So let's say we take the data set and we say, okay, for 80% of the data set, I'm gonna let the model look at the input, let's say uh, the gender, the class of the people, and then I'm gonna predict the outcome, if they survive or not. That way, the algorithm will generate a connection between the input and the output. And then for the remaining set, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover the output and say, okay, the algorithm now reads the input and gives me a certain output. Is it correct? And if it is, that means the algorithm is working. And then there's also unsupervised learning that is basically finding hidden patterns between the data without making a prediction. So next question is, what is machine learning used for? What is machine learning not used for? That would be a better question. Well, nowadays, it's used in many, many fields. As Juan mentioned before, you can predict so many things with machine learning. A really nice application of machine learning is from Spotify. They have a really cool recommender system that actually knows what I like. So they will recommend each week songs that I've never heard of, and I usually like them. So that's a very good application of machine learning. All right, take it. How machine learning creates new professions? Aha. Uh -huh. AI has the reputation that it will destroy some jobs, and yes, yeah, sadly it will, but actually the estimations is that it will create more jobs than it will destroy. So there will all the people associated to maintaining the technology, generating, teaching as well, of course, but also because the income is gonna be uh, generally higher, we're gonna have more space for entertainment, for mindfulness, for all that kind of services, and that is gonna create a lot of demand as well. Let's see what's next. Is machine learning overhyped? <laughs> nice. Uh... <laughs> No. Machine learning is so powerful that you can do really, really good things for humanity with it. Some people are expecting machine learning to take over the world. Probably won't. But the use cases that we have nowadays are really revolutionizing many industries. So I think it's not overhyped. I think it's, uh, it's ri rightfully hyped. All right. So next one. Why is machine learning so hard. It is and it's not, depends on what you want to do. It's no different from any other piece of technology. Like for example, you would say, it's a smartphone difficult to use? No, it's not. But if you want to create, to develop a new smartphone, then it's super difficult. So it's the same with AI. You want to develop and push the boundaries of AI, then it's gonna be very complicated. You wanna use it for tasks that have been done to death and you know are gonna be very useful because they're very well developed? then it's super easy. This one's a double one. Okay, let's do it what? at the same time. So I got this one okay. and you got that one. Cool. All right. So, how much do machine learning jobs pay? Good that's, question. that's a good question. I would also like to know that. No. Well, let's just say you can do pretty well. It's like the Revenge of the Nerds. Okay, so the last one is for Juan. How machine learning works, PDF. That's probably somebody Googling the book, How Machine Learning Works. Um, always by original kids. All right, so that was it. If you liked the video, just 
hit the like button. Remember to subscribe. And if we didn't get any of the questions that you were thinking of, just put them in the comments below. And if you want to subscribe to the AI newsletter, click the link in the description.